I wasn't going to do a reaction today because I have a huge headache. But I thought to myself, if I gave the secret lover a chance to speak, I have to give Grams a chance. I need to hear her perspective and her side. All right, we'll react. We're gonna get straight to it because this is a 41 minute video. I'm only gonna show you the good parts. And let's see what she's got to say. Grams posted a video called Storytime Friend Turned Stock Hers. But before we get to that, this girl done posted on her community page. Cease and desist are on the way. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know who she's speaking to about this little cease and desist. I know she ain't talking to me. How can you even afford a lawyer if you can't even afford rent? And if it ever goes my direction, I got the funds for a lawyer, okay? I'm pretty sure it's all bullshit. She's just trying to scare people off, but this is my first time really reacting on Graham's channel. So let's hear her out, you guys. Let's give her a chance. Y'all ready to react? Because I am. Let's get it. Clown ass people go and give someone who is mentally unstable at this point, who <laughs> was like they had who was mentally unstable, calls, okay? But they're completely taken by surprise. I'm taken by surprise with this whole shit. So all I can do is giggle, because <laughs> at the end of the day, bro, I'm gonna say it. Say I it. I got some toxic dick. Cause what I'm doing? Nah, girl, on. it ain't toxic dick. It's it's toxic brain. Okay, it's toxic brain. Something's wrong up here. Okay, some things you can fix, some things you can't. Some things you need medication for. Toxic here. Mine. Why is it every time I cut somebody off privately and try to take that shit to the grave, they go and make it explode in my face? Why? And I know I went through my comment section and my um. My true supporters who kind of like, you could tell y'all ass kind of believe the bullshit too. But y'all like shit. <laughs> Even bro. your own supporters believe At that shit. Point, they get you a toy. Don't do, don't, don't date, don't talk to nobody else. I can't tell you what I did though. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. As she's speaking, I kind of like her approach. Okay, I like that she's going comedic with it. She's making fun out of the situation. And might as fucking well okay you have the whole internet hating you okay you have your own people in your personal life hating you and when i mean hating now like hate like envious like hate as in they dislike you <laughs> so fuck it you know why not laugh at the situation laugh at yourself you know i kind of like the approach y'all said I, I don't know where i went wrong if i did what y'all said now she was a homie and as you can see she's she looks pretty innocent right when she's not off the hinges, you, she's a person that you could talk to, you could buy about with, you could vent to, and you could talk about shit with. She, she used to give me good advice, used to, but the last two months, it started getting toxic. She started being super obsessive with my um, ex-fiance, her new love interest, her friends, and my other ex and her life. Well, she became obsessive with your exes because you are obsessed with your exes. You brought them to life when all you do is talk about them behind closed doors and stalk them behind closed doors. And if she's just as crazy as you, she's going to get obsessed as well. If that's all y'all talk about. She watches all of their YouTube videos. She watches their Instagram stories. She, she gets up every morning before she wash her ass. That's if she do it before she, before she even brush her goddamn teeth. She's on the mugshot website, scrolling, scrolling, looking to see who went to jail. <laughs> and right now she's upset with me because I cut her off cold turkey, ain't talked to her. When she seen that she wasn't getting no calls and no text messages and no response from me after multiple attempts of texting me from text now numbers and confronting me and texting my phone before I blocked her and I still wasn't responding. Yeah, that's what that leads to, ignoring a person. Well, but you ghosted the bitch, right? If you ghosted her, someone like her who's off the hinges, it's gonna go even crazier. 
You should have at least explained to her why you want to cut her off. You said you cut her off cold turkey. And it's sad because you surely show me how you guys love to fall for anything. Fall for the drama. You believe anything anybody say without checking credentials. Baby girl sat there and told y'all. No, I believed her because she also told us what she was doing. She was stalking B and Avery's personal inf information along with you. So because she let us know that she's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, got some screws loose. She stalks. She says she doesn't stalk you, but she stalks. She told us this. If she can be that honest about herself, hell yeah, believe her ass. And then when she was asked on why she's up here, she said because she's called my mom trying to break up my family. Nobody wanted to dive deep into that. Ain't nobody be like, oh. So why would she call your mom? Because if you would have asked that simple question, it would have led to. Oh. Because I'm around here <laughs> stalking her. I'm writing her from text now numbers. And she's not replying. Uh, I'm looking at her friends list. And on her friends list, she's following new girls. And they're liking each other's pictures. I'm smashing her homegirls, homeboys. And, and I got her in some shit off the cameras. Because um, I'm going around here starting shit with people that she really fuck with. If they would have just asked that simple question, it would have been enough to be like, oh shit, this girl ain't got it all. No, girl, I still think it's fucked up that you that you called her mom. Why are you calling her mom? Call the cops. If she's stalking you that bad, do a report. Have it on record. Put it in documents. Is it going to protect your life? No, but at least you have it on record in case something ever happens to you. <laughs> okay, she's the first person they'll go to. What's the mama going to do? She can't do shit, just like she said. Nobody is fact-checking and credential-checking. Even when you go apply for a job, guys, they check your resume, your background. They want to know your goddamn everything before they bring you in their building. Before they extend an open door, we want to make sure that I got a stable person in this building. I want to make sure that I'm not allowing a thief into my corporation. I don't want them to mess up the business, the brand, what we stand for. Nobody's doing that. Because we're not here for credentials, okay? We're not here for all that. We're not going to do background checks. All right, we're not gonna we're we're not gonna check into her history. You know why? Because this is entertainment purposes. You are a YouTube creator. You are a YouTube influencer. You are on YouTube. You decide to put your life out there. You decide to associate yourself with people who want to put your life out there. If you couldn't check her credentials before you started dating her, why the fuck would we? We're here to just give opinions, commentate. She's the type of person you just be like, hey, this ain't working. She's the type of person that. You gotta just slide on out. Okay. Because it gets messy. And this ain't coming from me. This is coming from past lovers. Um, she knows she, this is why she going around sending the marriage certificate around to people. The bitch even got her best friend writing past, like, get real. Bitch doing shit just to be doing shit. I ain't gonna say shit, though. Just know I'm see her. My shit's still at her house. Make that make sense. Then Graham says, like I said, bro, I ain't got nothing to do with none of that. I'm cool if y'all what got what y'all got on that between y'all. I appreciate you keeping shit a buck, but none of this shit, uh, shit applies to me. I'm on some grown shit. She was talking about Lincoln and shit, and that would be a f flaw as fuck. This is all dumb. Hey, I know my bitch with you, but I got something for you. I've been getting stalked. Like, this shit is weird. That sucks. It's cringy. That sucks. That's why you have to be careful with who you mess with because you don't know who they're messing with as well. You also want to be careful who you piss off. That does suck to get phone calls like that. If she lives by herself, that's scary. You know what I'm saying? She may have something to protect her, but by the end of the day, what if you're just sleeping? They'll get you when you're sleeping. But girl, I mean, you did the same damn thing. You snuck into Lily's house while her and B were sleeping in bed. That's, that's creepy too. The fuck? This is so weird to hear because it sounds like she's talking to herself about herself. So the fact that she came back to the internet to word it as if I'm sitting around stalking my ex when she's the one that's invested. She, she, it's been plenty of times I done cursed her out for telling me where my ex fiance was at. She's like, well, I just watched the story on Instagram 
and she in Texas. Why do I care? Because you got, because you got her excited. <laughs> you, this is a task all of a sudden. This is like a, an investigation. This is a, a project that you created. When a crazy talks to another crazy, about stalking, it's exciting. You're giving her all the information and the stories of the people you're stalking and all the information that you have on your phone got her excited. It just lit something in her brain. We're like, oh, I have stories too. I did the same thing with my exes. Dan, let's do this. This is fun. She was really watching everybody close because she wanted to make sure no one to say anything about me reaching out to them. She wasn't genuinely interested in these women's lives. She was really monitoring what they was doing and how they were doing it and making sure they ain't incorporating grams in it. For you. Do you understand she that? She didn't know nothing. She, she did it for you. Before the YouTube. But baby, she got well invested. Girl, you got a free private investigator. Okay, what the fuck this is? Her, her suggesting ways of outing the new love interest and Googling her info. Shit popped off with me and the love interest back in August. She was excited. Why the, thing, why the fuck you think she bragging about? Yeah, that was me walking in with the flip flops. <laughs> she was excited. I told you she so was excited. Right now was going See, she knows because she was excited too. She knows exactly how that felt. She's speaking from experience. See, was I not right? They were excited. <laughs> this is fun. She's excited to be able to put a face next to me. Because what I do, cut her off and went ghost. So what does that do to a woman? That's bitter. They feel like they need to blow the cover. So she has to act like she's coming with something to give because she really doesn't have nothing to offer. <laughs> These right. schools. That's it's why. like getting caught, right? The police finally figured it out. You two are the suspects. But because one doesn't want to go down all by themselves, which is Ari, I think that's her name, she's gonna let it all out. But the puppet master, Grams, is sticking to her guns. She still says she is the victim and it was all Ari's idea. Cause she don't want to go down with her. But we all know, the jury knows, the judge knows, the prosecutor knows that both of y'all are guilty for the same charges stalking and she was getting mad because she wanted me to put her first she also wanted me to need her so she would volunteer certain shit like her car i told her i wanted to go out to for drinks and I, my home my best friend was gonna come get me and we was gonna go out for drinks she volunteered her car she volunteered almost everything it's just weird to me how nobody is but you Question took it all, though. And that's mm -hmm. okay, too. If they, if they offer and if you want to take, that's okay. But that pattern seems to happen a lot. Either start getting your own shit so you don't have to take those offers or stop taking those offers in general. I don't give a damn because I'm, getting, I'm sitting back with my feet up just watching the circus. I'm enjoying the performance. I just... And you do realize the circus is your life. <laughs> And the performance are the people in your life, the characters, including yourself. Really wish you are the main character. Thinking caps and stop thinking every female that come across me, I don't hurt. Y'all be weird with that. And she's showing my rental ledger like it's something that I need to be ashamed of. Baby, I had the money for my rent when I sent you the ledger. She let me borrow $700 when she got her school check back around the time I first got my apartment because I paid my security deposit and I paid my rent up front. I, I had to fork up some bands. So when her birthday rolled around, I was like, hey, I'm going to sit your birthday out. And plus, we only knew each other for it was about to be exactly a month. So I was OK with sitting it out. And she was like, no. You should come with me. I already had plans on celebrating my birthday. I already had plans on going places anyway. I just really want you there for support. So I was like, all right, cool. I'll do the shit. Even though I didn't really want to. Already like trying to budget. I got to get back because I done spent so much. I done spent everything I was saving 
to get in the apartment. Now rent is about to be due again because I moved in in the middle of the month. Rent about to be due. But she got her school check. I was like, hey, front me, say honey, and I get it back to I'm you. I'm sorry, this is all boring about this whole rent and the all that stuff because whatever you both agreed on you both agreed on it looks like you paid her back anyways so who cares you're over explaining my brain is literally going blank we did business if you didn't take care of me that's why it was so easy to cut you off because if you was any type of benefit over here you probably would have stayed around longer girl i'm looking all i'm looking at all of these except for that 125 there's a lots of tens lots of 15s that ain't shit. <laughs> that ain't shit to brag about. But one positive thing I have to say about Grams is that she's got a nice voice. I like her voice. I like how she talks. You know who she reminds me of? Busy Bone. This is why they said don't sleep on the Illuminati. Not only is it Jesus' family, but it's also your family. I see the light that's guiding everybody is like a bad light. She's doing a lot of yapping. Everyone's looking at her like she's crazy. It's making no damn sense, but it makes sense at the same time, just like Busy Bone. And that, that voice, they got that same voice. That's who she reminds me of. More about my past and wanted me to correct more my past. I can't do this, you guys. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Halfway through the video, I, I'm just getting bored. My ass is gonna lay in that bed back there and rest this head because I came with a light headache. She gave me an even more headache. Y'all have a good night. Peace.